the host of the classroom, Richard Curtis. My dudes, we're not worthy. <laughs> you guys ready to do this? Let's go, baby. Big game today. Oh, they're feeling it. Yes. I'm feeling it too. This audience, oh my goodness, you guys are loud. Hey, we have the students and we have our teachers and they're from Egg Harbor Township High School in Atlantic County. They are officially in the classroom where students and teachers today are both getting graded. Hey, I gotta show them one more time because you are beautiful out there. What's up, everybody? Oh, man. You guys know the drill. It's $500 to the winner of the show today, but more importantly, bragging rights to say I'm smarter than my teacher. Who's going to win? I have no idea, but this pop quiz starts right now. <laughs> Woo, Egg Harbor bringing the loudest fans I've heard in a long time. Grab your buzzers, guys. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. We're going to get through as many questions as we can. Each correct answer is going to bank you 10 points. If you buzz in first, just wait until I call your name to answer. Hey, if you guys get the question wrong, your team's locked out, but the other side can buzz in and steal those points. You guys feel the electricity in the air? That's because this pop quiz starts right now. In the story, Little Women, Mrs. March has how many daughters? Off to a hot start here, Mrs. Wexler. Five. Students for the steal. Femi. Three. How about we split the difference, we call it four. Extra credit question off the top of the show, 20 points right here. What is the name of the decade where the US economy rapidly expanded before the Great Depression? Richie. The Roaring Twenties. Oh man, nicely done. Eat my shorts is one of the trademark catchphrases of what character on The Simpsons? Mrs. Wexler. Bart Simpson. There it is. The volume of what three-dimensional figure is calculated with the formula one-third base times height? Richie. Uh, pyramid. There it is. Nicely done. In the NBA, the city of Dallas is represented by what team? Richie. The Mavericks. Mavericks. That is the energy, Richie. And in electricity, current is measured in what units? Mr. Williams. Amperes. Good. What brand of soda is popularly considered a direct competitor to Coca-Cola? Richie. Pepsi. Good. Cuba, Dominican Republic, Jamaica, and Puerto Rico are some of the islands found in what sea? Richie again. Caribbean. Nicely done again. This kid's on fire. Dunder Mifflin is a paper company in what TV series? David. The Office. The Office is right. What is the title of the fifth installment of the Super Smash Brothers series that was released for Nintendo Switch in December 2018? Richie. Super, Sma Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Yeah, Ultimate is right. Who was the Macedonian leader who created a large emperor empire that include Greece, Persia, <laughs> Egypt, and parts of India? You guessed it. It's Richie. Alexander the Great. <laughs> Good. How about it? What a round. Oh. Hey, Richie has me sweating right now. That kid is on fire. How about that for pop quiz? 90 points for the students, 20 points for our teachers. Hey, we're off to a great start. And Ms. Wexler, I agree with you. You can come back. Yes. Big game today. We have the students and teachers. How about this place? I love it. It's Egg Harbor Township High School in Egg Harbor Township. New Jersey. Femi, I'm going to give you this little, because you know why? Your name is awesome. I love the name Femi because it sounds like the rapper Fetty Wap, but it's Femi Wap. That's sweet. And we're going to talk about this in a second because he has some nicknames, people. $500 on the line today. If you win it, where's it going? Well, it's going to go to our school. We're going to buy gear for our academic challenge team. Awesome. Are you an academic challenge guy? Mm -hmm. Awesome. So you're like, give me that money, guys. We need yeah. some stuff. Uh, 12th grader, and you are the nickname king. Fe oh, Femi gosh. is his name. I called him Fetty Wap, and he's like, yeah, I got about 1,000 more. Give me some. Fembot. Fembot. Ooh, that's a good one. Anything else? Um, Femstar. I'm Femstar. So this kid, and by the way, the audience has been screaming, Femi, and then every variation of the name. Good luck today, team captain. Thank you. Uh, Richie. 12th grader, you're a collector of something that's pretty sweet. Uh, I like to collect vinyl records. Hey, what's your favorite? Do you have one? Uh, Disraeli Gears by Cream. 
I have no idea who that is, but I'm sure that one's awesome. Uh, Eric Clapton. All right, there it is. Nice, man. Good. Ha by the way, what a start by you, Richie. Oh, my yeah. good. Man on a mission here. David, 12th grader, music's in your blood, I heard. Yeah, uh, I've been playing cello for like eight years. Do you ever get tired of carrying the cello around? I feel like it's so big, and by the time you get it, you're like, what did I sign up for? I could have played the flute. Yeah, you get used to it. All right, that's why your biceps look good. Just give yeah. them a little flex, baby. Flex on them. Yeah. Uh, by the way, ladies want to know, uh, David, are you single? Yes. Okay, there it is, man. All right, guys, good luck. Beat those teachers today, right? It's the biceps. Biceps play. All right, Miss Wexler, yes. five hundred dollars. Good to mm -hmm. see you. She used to be English. Now she's a counselor. Right. But you get to decide where that five hundred's going. Where's it going to go? We are going to put it toward a scholarship fund. Oh, awesome. Yeah. And then goes to the students. Right. Awesome. Perfect. Uh, tell me about it. Uh, you're a guidance counselor now. Yeah, I am. These are some of the most important people in school. You're Femi's guidance counselor. Just, yes. He, you told me that he hasn't actually know where he's going yet. So I want you to decide yeah. on the show, Femi. We're going to. Pick your future right now. Where should he go? Uh, I think you should you should go with Johns Hopkins. Uh, yeah. Is that even an option? <laughs> yes. You can go and you didn't say yes immediately? Well, like there are other schools like Cornell. What? Yeah, I mean, he's <laughs> this guy is unbelievable. It's an embarrassment of riches and yeah. Femi and getting into everything. All right, Mr. Bell, history teacher. You coach the b-ball team? I do. I How'd do. you do this year? Oh, we did it. Okay, yeah. Had a pretty good year. We had a home playoff game, so. All right, nice, man. How about next year? We looking okay? We're looking pretty good for next year. Sweet. Mr. Williams, physics teacher. Look at that beard. That thing is thick. <laughs> My goodness. Uh, so he lives in a cave, apparently, but he's also a physics teacher. Life came at you full circle. It did. Um, actually, when I was in high school, Richie's dad was my chemistry teacher, and now I'm his physics teacher. That's insane! Does, yeah. does his dad ever come in and say, you're doing it all wrong, Mr. Williams? No, no, we have a good relationship. That's comes awesome. in every back-to-school night. Oh, that's cool, and you're like, look at me now! <laughs> all right, guys, I'll tell you what, let's not get too friendly right off the top, because yeah. the show continues and we go to detention right now. <laughs> Teams, how about it? That was like inception of students right there. Put your buzzers down. You're going to work together on this one. Here's how detention works. I'll give the trailing team a category. As a team, you're going to have 10 seconds to decide you want to play or if you want to pass. You choose to play. You answer the question correctly. You get to send any member of the other side to detention. But if you get it wrong, they can send one of you. If you pass, they have to answer the question. Same elimination rules apply. Hey, get everybody into detention. You win 40 points for the squad. And squad, this is where we're starting on the teacher side here. Category is government. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Absolutely. We're, yeah. we're going to play. Okay, what is the number of U.S. amendment that gives women the right to vote? What is the number of the U.S. amendment? 17. 17. Two off. We were looking for the 19th amendment. They get a little muddled when you get that high. How about it, guys? Did you know it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah of course you did. You know, who cares? You'd have to answer it anyway, but you get to do this now. Which one of your teachers is going to detention? Uh, Ms. Wexley. Ms. Wexler out of the game. How about our team captain? Okay. And the game continues, my friends. Categories, literature. Uh, we'll play. We'll play. Cool. Everyone's just, just yelling things at me right now, which is perfect. Good luck, guys. What Robert Louis Stevenson book tells the story of an orphaned boy whose uncle arranges for him to be sold into slavery in order to steal his inherit inheritance? You guys can talk about it. <laughs> right. I just heard uh, you guys got anything. Uh, that's <laughs> not a good thing to say, David. So sorry, guys. No answer there. We were looking for the kidnapped was the answer of the book there. Robert Louis Stevenson kidnapped. And teachers, you get to strike back here. Easy. See you, Richie. Yeah, Richie, <laughs> he's hot on the top of the show there and officially in detention. That's all right. All right, teachers, coming back to you here with this category, science. We're playing. We're playing. Okay, We're here you go. Play, Human elbows and knees are examples of what type of synovial joint? <laughs> really? Two seconds. Nothing. No, <laughs> does the answer, the hinge was the right answer there for synovial joint, the hinge. Hey, Femi, David, you get to pack off a teacher here. Who's it gonna be? It's gonna be Williams. Mr. Williams, out of the game, sir, and officially in detention. Okay. Some trash talk going in there from Richie in detention, but get comfortable. And students, you can win the round right here. Category, sports. Okay. 
Uh, pass. <laughs> Passing on the sports, here you go, Mr. Bell. Oh, Which Phillies pitcher represented the team during the 2018 All-Star Game? Aaron Nola. Aaron Nola's right, and how about it? <laughs> he keeps himself in the game. <laughs> Femi, David, you passed it there, did you know? No. Good pass. <laughs> All right, here we go. So you get to pick one of them off. Who's it going to be? Um, Femi. Femi, out of the game. David, it's all on you here. <laughs> Teacher, category, Mr. Bell. This one's for you. Okay. Movies. I'm going to play. What green-skinned character is the adopted daughter of Thanos in Guardians of the Galaxy? Ooh. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it looks like we're gonna lose. Yeah. <laughs> oh, not even no, giving me an answer even. there. Gamora, but how about this? Students win the round. You guys are out of detention. <laughs> Mr. Bell, you are in detention. Students take a 130 to 20 lead on this game. But hey, do not go anywhere because they're smiling right now, but one of them's going to study hall when we come back. Femi Bot, Richie Root. That was, that was a tough question, though. Welcome back, my friends, to the classroom. Today we have students and teachers from Egg Harbor Township High School. Hey, they're from Atlantic County. It's a beautiful place to grow up and live and educate yourself, and apparently the educations are going well because, students, you're in the lead 130 points to the teachers 20, but don't worry, you're the educators and you made it happen. So hey, there's still plenty of time left in the game for the educators to come back and win this thing. Pay attention, everybody, we're going to study hall. Okay, here's how the game works. Each team's gonna select one player from the opposing team to enter the dreaded study hall. Those two players are gonna have 10 seconds, not a second longer, to study a photo. I'm gonna ask three questions about that photo one at a time. Both players are gonna have five seconds to write down their answers to each question on a chalkboard. When time is up, guys, each player is gonna reveal their answers on the board. You get it right, boom, 10 points added to your score. So look across the way. Smile at them, make weird faces at them, because you gotta send one of them to study hall. Two seconds left, make your decision. We already know. Teachers, who's gonna go? We're sending Fembot. Fembot, my man, Femi Wap, who are you facing? Bell. Bell, Femi, to study hall we go. They're feeling it? Yeah, I mean, do you guys, do they do that? Yeah, okay, yeah, Femi's like, uh, just, I'm playing, bud, I'm playing. He's got his game face on, and we have 10 seconds on the clock, guys. So Femi, Mr. Bell, eyes go right there. If you're at home, play along. 10 seconds starts now. Cut it! That was a fast 10 seconds, but it was still 10 seconds. We'll see how much you guys remember from that picture. Best of luck. In the stack of gifts, what color is the wrapping paper with the snowflakes on it? Five seconds. Reveal your answers, my friends. We have white and we have red. The correct answer? Mix them together, you get pink. Who gets pink wrapping paper on Christmas? Well, that person does. No points awarded there. And we're all just wondering who got that wrapping paper. I didn't even know they made pink wrapping paper. As we move to question two. What is the girl's name written on the Santa hat? Good luck. Here we go. Pens down, answers up. Femi, Mr. Bell, they both said Brooke. Is that the right answer? Brooke is right, that's exactly who it was. Teachers 30, students 140, and we move on to question three. Are the dog's eyes opened or closed? Good luck, five seconds. Here we go guys, reveal your answers. They both said closed. Is that a dog that ate too much turkey? Oh yeah, sound asleep. Sound asleep, recapping the scores. Teachers get some right, 40 points for them. Students, how about it, 150, and that must feel good. But we're not done yet, because we're gonna start our vocal exercises. Music class is next, followed by the all-important final exam.
exam where you have to win it. Will they? I have no idea. But we're still in session until we come back. I can honestly say the mascot said, I'm not going to have my head on because I got to get famous. And you are famous now. What's your name? Alexa. Alexa. So smile into that camera. She's going to be right here, guys. She's now famous. We love Alexa. <laughs> All right. Big show today. Students, 150. Teachers, 40. What's your name? Venasia. Venasia. Listen, you go to this school. Students are on fire right now. Is this, is every student just super smart? Yeah, we are. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> yeah. yeah you said she's yeah. like, yeah, bounce it off. And then Lima, yeah. good to see you. You got three awesome teachers up there. Who's your favorite and what's, what makes them so special? Well, Mr. Bell, because he's really hilarious. He did, and he's rocking. Snacks. Oh, yeah, that's huge. <laughs> teachers know the way to the kid's heart. It's through food. But, guys, listen, we cannot stay here because we have to keep the show rolling. This game continues right now. Music class, teachers are saying they got it. They got it in the bag. Can they do it? Well, let's keep going. We're going to find out. Guys, grab your buzzers. You're going to need them for this round. Music class is testing your knowledge of song lyrics. I'm going to ask a question related to a popular song. Then Mike Jarek from Fox 29's Good Day Philadelphia is going to do his best portion of the lyrics. The first person to buzz in correctly answer my questions are going to win 10 points for their team. Hey, you buzz in, you get it incorrect. Your team's locked out. The other side can still buzz in and steal those points. We have three sets of lyrics today. Teachers, you're going to want to get within 100 here. Good luck. Question. What performer sings these lyrics in a 2018 song? Good luck. Richard, I'm feeling inspirational. Here we go. I won't let this pull me overboard. God, keep my head above water. <laughs> Fantastic rendition, Mike, but buzzers stay silent here. Both sides are locked out. The answer, how about this one? Avril Lavigne, head above water. Mike, stay afloat because we move right into question two. What rapper co-wrote and performed these lyrics in a 2017 song? Take it away. Next up. I wish that I could say I'm proud. I'm sorry that I let you down. Le, le, let you down. First one, Femi. NF. NF, let you down. There he goes. <laughs> Remy Watt, baby. How about it, Femi? You felt good about that one? Favorite song? Uh, favorite song, probably Feel Good Incorporated. All right, not, ooh, that is a good jam. Nicely done. I like that one. Question What female performer sings these lyrics in a 2018 collaboration on a movie soundtrack? Good luck. All right, this last one's a little hard. Uh, this may be the night that my dreams might let me know. All the stars are closer. Wexler buzzed in, our teachers buzzed in, but Femi, you got it under the gun there. The answer, SZA. SZA is right. They knew it. You guys knew it. They just got beat to the buzzer. Students coming up to 170, and that's been the story of the game. They just keep getting buzzed out. All right, guys, I hate to do this to you, but we have to put an end to this thing. Final exam starts right now. The top of today's final exam is location, location, location. I'm going to ask both teams three questions about that topic. Each correct answer is going to bank them 100 points. Guys, you'll put all three heads together during the commercial break. Not quite yet. First, let's hear these questions. And we start with this. The inspiration for the hamburger is believed to come from the city of Hamburg in what country? As we move into location, 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 number two. Los Angeles, one of the most popular cities in the U.S., is home to the characters Monse, Caesar, Ruby, Jamal in what Netflix show? Finally, the Pyramids of Giza are located on the southwestern outskirts of what modern Egyptian city? All right, there they heard. There are the questions. How well are they going to do? I have no idea. 60 seconds is officially on the clock. Look at Richie. Man, is he happy to be here. And I'll tell you who else is. The teachers who want to come back and win this thing. So don't go anywhere. A winner gets crowned on the classroom next. And as always, friends, I'd love for your school to be featured on the show. Here's how it can happen. 
Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. Students and teachers from Egg Harbor Township High School going head to head. The score is students 170, teachers 40. The topic of today's final exam is location, location, location. Listen, I put my spirit braid on. Venasia hooked me up with it because we're going into the final exam right now. The inspiration for the hamburgers believed to come from the city of Hamburg in what country? Teachers. Germany. Germany's right, getting you up to 140. Oh, David, you said. Germany. Germany, that is huge. We move into question number two. Los Angeles, one of the most popular cities in the U.S., is home to the characters Monse, Caesar, Ruby, and Jamal in what Netflix show? Students, if you get this right, you got $500 in your pocket, the rights to say you're smarter than your teacher. Will it happen though? Richie, you said. Orange is the new black. Incorrect. And the game continues. Teachers, if you get this incorrect, the game's over. Get ready to celebrate. <laughs> you said. I mean, I like my answer anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag UC Prize. Students, <laughs> big winners of the game. The answer on my block in what Egyptian city are the pyramids of Giza located? 